Hi guys, it's Mine Crypto here. I hope we're all well. I hope we're having a wonderful day. Just quickly, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got well over 60% people watching these videos, but not actually subscribed, so you'd be doing me a massive favor. So, Justin, Bank of England launches Digital Pound CBDC project. Now, I thought this was um, due by 2030, but I had a feeling it would probably move a little bit quicker. So if you look up here, um, Bank of England proposes 10 to 20,000 pound holding limit per person for its digital pound at CBDC. So looking really, really interesting. Um, so with this in mind, I thought well, I'll check through the comments and someone has popped this on there. So Ripple cited in the Bank of England Feb 2023 report on the digital pound. And if we look here, we will see it actually has it on there. Um, so cross-border synchronization, a joint project with Ripple demonstrating that synchronized FX transactions into two different simulated RTGS systems can be achieved, leading to the incorporation of synchronization functionality into the roadmap for renewal. Now, that's that's quite um, amazing for Ripple and XRP, because I'm assuming um, XRP will be used for on-demand liquidity. So that's really what we've been looking for. That's what we've been hoping for. So let's see how quickly this CBDC goes through or the launching of the project. Um, I know that within the UK we say a lot of things and it can take some time for it to process, but that's looking quite bullish because my previous video on Electronium was also to do with the Digital Pound Foundation. And you will find Electronium will be an app that wants to bank the world, which sounds very promising and noticing today that that's actually gone up like 12, 13%. So I'm assuming people are connecting the dots with regards to that. And obviously Quant um, being part of the Digital Foundation partners as well. So also we see Watcher Guru post or tweet a Bank of England proposal the 10 to 20k holding limit. So it seems like there is a lot of details around this. And obviously that sounds very promising for those connected, which again, um, I cited yesterday being Electronium, Quant and ripple on that digital pound foundation group so with this in mind if you want to check out what i will do is i will um, paste i've got the actual download for this and i will post a copy that you can download immediately if you fancy having a read through the project itself with the bank of england but i do think this sounds pretty amazing um, if it goes through but obviously a lot of people are, are against cbdc's because they believe it's programmable i don't know the details on it just yet i will read through this paper and um, decide how i feel about it i suggest you do the same because this is all about doing your own research but also i noted um, up here so if we open up so here's a message from mr potato Easy to tell from the comments, hardly anyone has read the article. So it says here, Bank of England outlines CBDC project. The new Bank of England has officially launched its new digital pound CBDC project, a development that is set to implement a new form of digital money for use by households and businesses for the everyday payment needs. The consultation paper on the project noted the intention, the digital pound sit alongside, not replace cash, to be a digital currency counterpart to traditional finance systems. Moreover, stating the intention of the CBDC is to ensure that central bank money remains available and used useful in ever more digital economy. So that's not going to replace it. It's going to be part of it. Like with anything, like with all these in the, these particular cryptocurrencies will, will play a big part um, and the utility of what they can achieve behind the scenes. It's a bit like if you look at Google and you look at the, the processes that take place behind Google, um, they are functioning it. And this is what the technology of some of these blockchains will produce. Um, I'm you know, I'm, I'm unsure what to think of it, but um, if you're invested into cryptocurrency, this will be a, quite a bullish sentiment. So anyway, guys, um, thanks for listening. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, remembering that this isn't financial advice. You've got to always do your own research when you're looking into investing in anything. Remember, do your own research. Remember, thoughts become things. Choose the right ones. All the best.